Yo, we got the Steelers. We got the Browns week one. I think it's going to be a high-scoring matchup. I don't really think so. I think the Browns going to pull this one out, honestly. Yo, I'm really not liking the Steelers right now, and I can't even lie. Like, it's not no personal beef. It's just over the Le'Veon Bell situation. Like, you know Le'Veon Bell is literally the best player in this league, man. Pay that man his money. Make that man happy. If not, somebody else is going to take advantage and pay him the money and make him happy. And you know what he going to do? He going to win a championship for that team, so... Steelers need to stop playing, man. Especially Le'Veon Bell and a lot of fantasy leagues. Like, he the number one back for a lot of people in fantasy leagues, man. I know. I know the struggle right now, man. Last year, I picked Le'Veon. Like, he was on the holdout last year. I thought he was going to do the same thing. Hey, man, it is what it is, man. We'll, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, he get his money. He gets paid. If not, James Conner is the option. Then you got Jalen Samuels as the third string option. Steelers this year, I'm not really big on them. Like, I'm not. Like, Juju Smith-Schuster, like, he's cool. A.B. is the best receiver in the league, hands down, 100%. Juju, I'm not big on at all. Like, he, he cool, but... People have tape on him now, so how cool is he going to be this year once people have tape on him and figure out all basically his moves and basically how he works, you feel me? I think Vance McDonald is going to have the biggest year of his career. I mean, he had a big year with Colin Kaepernick his last year with the 49ers, but I think there's going to be another big year for Vance McDonald. We'll see. Jesse James is the backup tight end. I think they're going to run the double tight end set. We'll see what happens with that. Man, I don't even know what to tell you. That defense is great, Mike. That defense is a top 10 defense. I can't even lie to you. You got Cameron Hayward, TJ Watt. You got Stephon Toit, John Bostick, Joe Hayden. You got Artie Burns. Artie Burns is the truth. I mean, you got the kicker, Chris Boswell. I think he's going to have an okay, decent season also. But this defense, man, I can't even lie to you. I I will start on this week definitely 100% with confidence. I think we'll see i think this is going to be more of a defensive battle this week we'll see what happens the browns on the other hand they have a whole new offense a whole new offense they drafted baker mayfield but he is sitting on the bench <laughs> they tried to play him for a drew stand like he wasn't the number two option like come on bro you already know who the number two option is baker mayfield you got tyrod taylor starting tyrod taylor I love Tyrod Taylor. I love Tyrod Taylor game. Like, as a backup quarterback in my fantasy league, it's a must. Tyrod Taylor is he a good producing quarterback as far as a fantasy league. Like, if you need a fantasy quarterback, a backup fantasy quarterback, Tyrod Taylor is definitely the GOAT. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Carlos Hyde, as long as he's healthy, yo, he's an elite running back. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I like Carlos Hyde, but... Like I said about Carlos Hyde when I told you how to pick the running backs. Like, he is only going to be healthy eight games this year. So, it is what it is. Duke Johnson and Nick Chubbs are the two backups. Duke Johnson is more of a receiving back. He's probably going to get most of the receiving downs. You got Javaris, Javaris Landry, Josh Gordon, Antonio Callaway, Rashad Higgins, I think. Their receiving set with Jarvis Landry and Josh Gordon. Man, I think that duo right there, whoo, I think that's going to be a great duo. With the tight ends, you got Joku, David Njoku starting. You got Darren Fells on the bench. Seth Duvall is the third string. David Njoku, man, he got the hands, man. He got the hands. He can jump out the gym. He like 6'5", big, big big-size athlete. Yo, he's going to get the ball. I think this year be his breakout year. We'll see what happens. Tyrell Taylor likes to go to tight ends a lot. That's what I noticed from Tyrell, so yeah. 
on that defense, you got Jabril Preppers. Man, you got a couple good players on their team. I can't even lie. Like, you got Miles Garrett that got drafted last year. Like, that defense should be a top 15. Terrence Mitchell. Like, that defense should be a top 15 defense. We'll see what happens this year. We'll see what happens. You know what I mean, I'm not. Not big on starting on week one, especially against the Steelers, because you know Antonio Brown, once he turned up, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a no-go. After Antonio Brown is on, oh, my gosh, your defense will catch all the blues. All the blues. All the blues. But I actually like seeing Joe Hayden go against his old team, so... On this one, I think the Steelers are probably going to win this matchup. Hit that like button, that subscribe button, you already know.